And look at our workbench. It's a disaster. Oh my god. It's a disaster over here, babe. It's all right. It's a disaster. I don't know about that. <laughs> Hi guys, I have another episode of Fix It Friday for you and in this episode I am showing you the IKEA built-in bookcases. We'll be starting that so make sure you stay tuned to the end to see what's happening. If you're new to my channel, my name is Michelle and this is my everyday wife life or every day is a fresh start. Alright, it is Sunday, January... I don't know. January uh, 21st. You can hear hubby sawing some stuff in, in the garage. And we got our IKEA shipment um, for the wall unit. So we were deciding on colors. So I had some already green samples on hand from when we did the living room. So these were all the colors. This is two olives, so we're going with this, which I was contemplating doing that for redoing the family room. I don't know if that happened because I still didn't like the family room. So this is called Rooftop Garden. So we did it on the underside of the cabinet to see what that looked like. It's drying now. Hubby has a portion of it put together. Um, so... Uh, why did we get white if we're going to paint it? Because it only comes in certain colors and uh, there was not something available. And this is cheaper than buying wood and putting it together. So um, this is the bottom part. And then there's two of these cabinets over here that are going to go on top of it over there. So we decided we're not building it in. It's going to be centered on this wall. So there's going to be a gap on that side. And obviously that thing is going, so. And then we bought some molding to match the molding on the floor to do that trim. On the bottom here, he's going to raise this up. So it's going to be, the trim's going to be on the bottom here like that to make it look a little built in. But um, he's right now cutting wood to make a platform on the bottom to raise that up. Um, a little bit. So, uh, yeah. So he has to build the other one. He's going to work on this one first. See how that goes and whatever mistakes he makes. Make sure he doesn't make it on the one on the other side. So it's going to be pretty darn big. So that's pretty tall there. And then whatever that height is. Like I said, it is going to be above the, um gator picture so it's gonna be pretty tall yeah and then I had a thought and um that I might go ahead and move this take everything off of it move this and put it up here on the staircase and put some of hubby's things up there <sighs> hubby said no I mean he he wants me to do that he still want me to do it now but I'm not going to listen to him and I'm gonna do it anyway because I want I don't know I guess I want something to do not that I don't have other things to do but we'll see anyway that's what is happening today I think in this video I'm gonna try to just concentrate on just the wall unit actually we're not doing anything else right now because it's cold so there's not a lot happening outside there are some things that we still have to do paint trim on the house still but it's not happening because it's cold and it's been raining, so that was, we were not able to do that when it was raining either, so. Alright, that's what's happening, and he don't really like me to film, so you're just going to get a progress report every so often in the video. Also, too, weird optical illusion. It's not really an optical illusion, I don't know, it's a color illusion. So, I repainted this panel. I had already painted it one time already, because I didn't like the color. So I repainted it to match the um, color in the family room. And yeah, do you see this? Now look at this. Does that look like the same color? It is. That's crazy. It looks like almost kind of light turquoisey green. And then that looks like a green green. So weird. And still looks different on camera. 
than it does in person. It look it's looking more of an olivey green, but it's not. Definitely. So just weird. I don't know. Depends what you put it on. So, but I am liking that color better than the one over here. But I don't know what to do about that. And I'm going to paint one more panel of there so that you know it kind of matches. Because there's like what four drawers that are brown stained anyway some suggested that too and i'm like yep that's what i was thinking about doing anyway i forget what color they were before but i wanted some a different i think it was just an ugly color and i didn't like it so um i repainted it and that see it's a little bit lighter than this one but definitely looks like a turquoise green doesn't it it's crazy your eye tricks you like that. That's nuts. That's nuts. That's crazy. I don't get it. <laughs> Alright, I just got back from running errands to get sandpaper for hubby. He's making the base for the cabinets. For the bookcase. This one's already done. Huh? No, well, it's finishing, but... Well, major, put together. Major, yeah, put together wise, construction wise. Done. What is that, an example of what it's going to look like in the corner? Yep, where I, I fit it to the, uh, oh. so if you, you look at it. How'd that, you cut that? Oh, that was a major pain in the <laughs> Anyhow, when you fit it like that. Yeah. Right? You did pretty good. Um, And then it's just a matter of determining this distance so i gotta put it in there see how far it is from the okay. wall okay i didn't and think it was gonna fit that tightly you did good and do dear I, yeah. I couldn't do it that's for sure oh. <laughs> you did Without good coping saw, yeah, and then this is the the still the other ikea cabinet yet yeah i right. stopped and got pool salt and salt for the softener because we needed some and hubby requested Sandpaper, wood filler, wood glue. So I got that. All right, hubby finished finish the base for that one. Looks pretty good. <laughs> pretty smooth. Looks like all one piece. And uh, we moved the TV out of the way so we could put the other one there. So there's going to be a gap. We decided we're not going to do it. Make it look like it's built in. It'll be freestanding. We're gonna have to cut out a thing in the back for the for the uh, light the plug, and it needs to be centered between here and there. I haven't measured exactly if it's in the exact spot it should be in, but yeah. And we're, we we got to paint this. The bottom's gonna be white though. All right, he just set this cabinet on top just for to see, but the base cabinet goes down the bottom that has actual cabinets and these are the shelves. So it's going to be taller. Like I said, it's gonna it's gonna reach that window, isn't it? It could be the top of the window there. Pretty close. Yeah. And that, that uh, nail has to come out of the wall. Yeah, we need to do that. And that too. Yep. And then he put the other base cabinet there. We need to take the pictures down. Yep. And then he's thinking about building a window seat there, possibly. I think so. With some storage there. Yep. I don't... I think it'll look all right because I was afraid it would eat up too much space. But if you do it just as narrow as that right there. Right. Not yep. have it come out any more than that. Yep. Um, you just got to find the right piece of Ikea furniture that fits underneath that window. I might have to do a custom build on that. Oh, God. That's taking forever. <laughs> okay, let's see what hubby is up to today. In the garage. Do me a favor. Oh, are you down? We I'm coming out here to check on you. So, he's painting the cabinets. It looks way lighter out here. Eh. No crying. He says it's only for his coat. So, yeah. I don't, un I don't understand. It looked different inside. And I have a sealer on top of it. 
All right. No crying. These are the bottom cabinets. We're not going to paint the inside because they're going to have a door on it. It don't matter, so we're not painting the inside on those. So. You're in the way of progress. Watch out, kitchen. Okay. Kitchen lady. How about that kitchen lady? Calls me the kitchen lady sometimes. Hubby was playing around with the books in the bottom. Again, those are going to have doors on them. So here's just seeing how they fit. We'll probably rearrange them a couple of times. And then I painted that panel so that we would have more matching. Remember, I painted that other one the other day. I think I'm going to the store to get a darker green. Can you see this? It's the same color, but it doesn't look like the same color. And I don't like how that looks. So I'm going to get a darker green. A shade darker than that. Even though it's the same dang color. It is only one coat. So maybe that's... I don't know. Don't like... I just don't like how it looks. It should be darker on this dark wood thing. Anyway, he was playing around with that. And on that side, he's playing around with that. That thing needs to go. Um... I guess I'm going to put it in the garage uh, and decide what to do with it. We're trying to clear off this shelf, and we're going to go ahead. Hubby at first said no. He didn't want to do that, but he does want to do that now. So, we're going to put it right there. So, all that stuff needs to go. So, uh, yeah. That's what's happening. And then he has to take this apart. <laughs> And sand it and paint it. And the other one is not put together. Well, the other three. Because this is just one. So, that goes on top here. And another one of those goes on top here. I mean, we emptied. Well, he did part of that bookcase, part of that one. So, I'd say one bookcase for the bottoms. And that's another bookcase. And another bookcase. And then we'll have two empty bookcases. I don't know. We'll see what ha what happens. Again, we're not going to shove all the books on it like that in the bottom. Might be because we just need it for storage. Um, but on the top, it's going to be like books, a decorative piece, like I already said. I'm repeating myself. Anyway, I hear the laundry going, so I got to go do that. And my nice clean house is getting all messed up again. All right, so we put this up there, and we don't like it. <laughs> We're just going to leave the shelf there for a little bit and see whether or not we like that there or not. I mean, we may not even need it. So, all right, now we're working on what books are going to... Well, what are you doing? What books are going to go up there and there? We're making a stack here. That's not a good stack. What do you, I want you to arrange them like they're gonna go up there. So we can decide which ones go up there and which, one, which ones don't. Yeah, so this is a Webster's Dictionary. Pause the video and write down in the comments how old you think this is. This is from Bob's dad. He has a bunch of old books that are from that one year his dad sent us. How many boxes of books? Too many. Oh my god, that's ridiculous. I guess he was trying to clean out his face and he sent us, I don't know, like 10, 10 boxes of books? I don't know. I don't think it's 20. Really? Yeah. I don't think so. Isn't it cool? Though it is falling apart a little bit. But I'm, I didn't never really looked at it before. It has the little, I don't know what you call it, these little indentations for the different sections of the dictionary and stuff. So I'm like, where's the date? Where's the date? And that the binding is in 
poor condition. Not horrible for as old it is. But anyway. But the inside, the pages are great. Babe, the pages on this are awesome. They're not ruined or nothing. It's just the binding. Look at that. The pages are great. There's a little rip there, but... So... Let me find the date for you, guys. I'm curious how much this is worth. Not that we would get rid of it. Unless it's worth a million dollars, I might. If it was worth a million dollars, we're getting rid of it. <laughs> Where's, where did, where, where's, where's that page that I just, um, there it is, 1891, oh my god, 143rd, whatever, you do the math, wow, that's crazy. I'm going to look up to see if I can find how much a dictionary like this would be. Like I said, it's a little tore up on the binding and the edges and stuff. But the inside is perfect. Baby, the inside is perfect. Have you ever looked at this? Yeah. It's totally intact. Yeah. There's a couple stained pages, but not really. Oh, my gosh. My pictures in there. Where? On the old geezer. <laughs> What? Say that again? No. <laughs> Dr. Gold Geezer? <laughs> Alright, so I looked it up on eBay. Somebody's selling a one a little bit better condition than this for $75. So, big deal. Not selling it for that. Uh, and then this one. Some books I he sent us, I looked them up and then I got tired of looking them up and stuff. Um, there were Probably total is a lot, but individually not so much. So this one says 1890. Pages are definitely kind of ruined. Or is they supposed to be like that? No, I don't think so. Are they? No, I don't think so. Interesting, right? Outside ain't that pretty. And I looked this one up on eBay and somebody is selling it for $20. So, yeah, if I want to spend some time and sell a whole bunch, but probably hubby says, nope. <laughs> Unless they're worth a million dollars or something. What would you sell it for? $500? If it was worth $500, would you sell it? Yeah, probably. Okay. But it's not. Look at this one. And it's in pretty dang good condition, too. I don't know what the year is because I don't read numeral numbers. I'll figure it out. But look. It's in good condition for as old as it is. How cool is that? <laughs> it's just... Um, paperback though but like some kind of coated textured pages all right so hubby finished putting his books in there i think he rearranged them a couple times he put he's got some really heavy books like these ones over there so he put those there because that they're not going to work and in the taller upper shelves so he cleared out this whole entire thing i think oh i'm wrong most of it anyway so i could probably put my photo albums that are in these bins which the cats have tore up first it was calvin now it's ziki i could probably go ahead and put those in here um yeah so i think that's what's gonna happen there and i'm gonna go through Let's see if there's anything I can get rid of. I already stuck two things in my craft room, which is still a mess. But that's for another video. So these were empty scrapbooking things I bought and never used. 
So I have to make a decision on whether or not to keep these. You know, this is gonna disease, so I don't know about now that. He's taking a break for now and having his coffee and stuff. And so he has the second bookshelf out here. Clearly there's four that go on top of the cabinet. So he's going to sand it and paint it. It's going to take him probably a couple of days. And then he has the trim down there that's going to go at the top. Uh, yeah. Fun stuff. Better him than me. <laughs> and I'm headed to Home Depot to get a few things. I'm getting some trim for the the doors. For the doors on the bottom. Because I was going to have doors on those. Um, Some green paint for that drawer thing super glue and I have I have to go to um Walmart too so anyway so I need to do that and I looked on Amazon for knobs because they don't have they have plain ugly ones you see what these look like they're kind of decorative engraved not engraved but <laughs> I don't know embossed no that's not the word I'm looking for whatever I want them to be sort of similar to that so I looked on Amazon still deciding on that so and again I think that's going to be a no-go so we'll be getting rid of that Alrighty, so I got two more paint samples don't they look the exact same so what I what we painted the the bookcases was roof top garden this is eucalyptus wreath which is darker than than this bitter sage which is darker than what's on the wall unit right now so these are but well, i'm not going back it's too late now i done made a decision but here's the other thing to think about though i mean second guessing myself but what am i going to do it's already painted hubby is going to say nope you're going to just keep it like that you know with two coats it so if I chose this, two coats we might look darker. Plus the um, the varnish clear finish makes it look even darker because it did and made it look darker. So I don't. Green is so hard, y'all know. When I painted the family room, I I must have got six or seven different shades of green, <sighs> and I'm still not totally happy with it. Just have to go with it. It's fine. So, whatever. So, anyway, I just, well, I didn't want, I'm going to say, so I got the sample because I don't need a huge thing of it. I just need some to paint the panel with, and we'll see which one I choose once again. So, I'm going to Walmart. So, there was that, oh, and I got, I was going to get trim for the doors, but then when I got there, I'm like, yeah. I, I don't know. So, Hubby's going to have to come with me. So, um, we we're going to just get plain trim, like, and square it off. Yeah. I, well, I'm like, yeah. I, I, don't, I don't think I'm going to like that. So, I found some other stuff. But he's going to have to come with me because I'm not sure if it's going to work. Anyway, I'm going to Walmart for some other stuff. But, um, and I got sands to add to the sand, to the litter box because kind of not, we kind of didn't get enough. And, yeah. And I forgot to get super glue. So, Hubby told me to get super glue. So, and I need toothpicks, but I can get that here. I, I'm sure I can get super glue here. So, this is a bunch of stuff I need to do in Aldi Hall. But this is Fix a Friday, not. I'm not vlogging today. It's Fix a Friday. So, let's concentrate on that, shall we? Six. I think I was already recording earlier today. Just have to tell myself that so I don't have to look it up what day I was recording this. Anyway, I think hubby's in here for finishing up the the um yeah. He's painting. He's painting away in this humidity. It got really it got really hot today. The air conditioner is on. It's been cold, then hot, then cold, then hot, then cold, then hot. Oh my gosh, it's crazy. It really darkens up when you 
um, when it dries, look at the difference between the wet and the dry. Yeah. yeah. Jeez. Big difference. Yeah, big difference. All right. Are you having fun yet? Oh, I'm loving it. <laughs> you love it when it's done. Yeah. And look at our workbench. It's a disaster. Oh, my God. It's a disaster over here, babe. That's all right. I don't know about that. <laughs>
And it's gonna be plenty of room for, well, he has all these books on the floor over here. I didn't realize that. Anyway, he's working on painting this morning, so. Or actually, he's varnishing this morning, so. Then he can assemble them and put them in here. I want to show you this one. So this is a photo album of, um, more like a scrapbook, of my son's school stuff. We had a humongous bin years and years ago that, I don't know, hubby wanted to keep every single one of his papers. I'm like, yeah, we're not going to keep it all the math papers. Anyway, so we went through and got rid of a bunch and kept some things. So, preschool... And then there were some, it's mostly like artwork and stuff. <laughs> Isn't that cute? Oh, I don't know, just some in the first grade. And you get the picture and just a bunch of interesting artwork and i guess there's some of his awards are in here um all the way, there's some blank pages in there all the way up to uh i don't know 98 he was 11 so that's sixth grade yeah anyway i do have a box I don't know what to do with it. I cannot find it. I had a matching green box that had loose papers in there and stuff. I don't know what happened to it. I don't know where I put it. Maybe it was my imagination, but I could have sworn I also had a box that matched this that had loose stuff in it. It is Sunday, January 28th. So a little update. So I did move the picture up and then I added a ribbon to the washcloth there. I think that looks cute. And hubby is, you, the air conditioner is on, is hot again today. So um, hubby is on the patio taking a break. So he, uh, is that Boeing? I hope not. Um, he put a thing of shellac on there. Ooh. Oh, that, okay, that's just an optical illusion. I thought I saw white, but it was just a shadowing of the shellac. Or not shellac, polyurethane, whatever. So, he has to do another coat. So, uh, earlier, or was that yesterday? Might have been yesterday, yes. Son, son and I and hubby came out here and put toothpicks in all these little holes. So, online, when you read up about this, it said to... You're going to have to drill these holes, which we don't even know why this middle one is here. No idea. So, um, hubby had the idea to put toothpicks in there, but then he had to paint around it. Anyway, then he didn't have to drill back all these holes. These are what you're going to put the pegs in for the shelves. So, I, I mistakenly didn't do uh, a how-to because we weren't sure this was going to work. So, anyway, so what we did is... Um, I read online and asked the people at Home Depot because some lady that was helping me said uh, with the paint, she said she made a mistake of not doing some stuff. So he sanded his first, um, not a huge amount, just, I don't know if you would say lightly sand, maybe medium sanded it. Then we painted it, then let it dry, or we have to wipe that down good, make sure there's no... Uh, residue on it painted it uh i'll show you the paint that we bought we bought some special paint we didn't prime i know some people prime first when they're doing the ikea these are ikea cabinets then we then we who am i saying we it's him <laughs> i didn't help at all he painted it again let it dry and then put the polyurethane on it let it dry and now he's got to go back and put another coat of polyurethane on it so um, it's still wet. It's drying. So, um, so where's the paint? This is the paint that I got. It's stain blocking paint and, oh, it is primer in, in the paint and scuff defense. So, uh, he nearly used the whole gallon for 
the hole on it. And that's how he did the base too. And um, so he's so he's gonna put the second coat on and in about an hour or two. Uh, not a good weather for the um, drying. I asked him if he wanted the fan out here. He said no, because he doesn't want nothing to blow onto it. So really humid. I'm dying out here already. So I'm thinking that they won't get put together till tomorrow. Today again is Sunday. Um, the, what did I say? 28th? Yes, of January. And as well as I'm doing any other project, the uh, garage got a mess again. But it will get cleaned up. Yes, this is why we put some stuff in the shed so we can have more room for to work to do projects like this. There's going to be, I don't know, nothing this major probably, but some other stuff that we want to do um, that we're going to need to work in the garage with, possibly. I'm not sure. We shall see. All stuff that we've been talking about for years, just haven't gotten around to it. And, yeah, because hubby's been working like 50 hours a week. so, And I certainly can't do this by myself. I have no idea. I'm not crafty or that's not crafty in that way at all <laughs> and i think today i will remove this i'm already tired looking at it obviously it's not going there it's eating up space now that this is here and we talked about the built-in there but we're gonna wait on that because maybe we won't need it and do we want something i mean it's gonna be small it's gonna be the depth of that maybe just one foot longer not the whole window, because I feel like it would be too close to the wall unit. Well, on that side, you see how the window is not centered in the room. So annoys me. Anyway, uh, I got the fan going. I'm hot. So, again, the house is a mess because we're doing construction. <laughs> it happens. This is what happens. I would love to be able to do a video for you, and then I know it would get more views. And all that stuff. But y'all know I'm not chasing that thing no more. If I just do the bookcase and nothing else. And not. And start from start to finish. And uh, fast forward video. But hubby doesn't want to be filmed. Painting and stuff like that. So eh, you get what you get. And you don't throw a fit. No I'm just kidding. I know you guys don't care. My diehard subbies don't care. Anyway, but this is real life, and this is what happens. It doesn't happen from start to finish in all one day. <laughs> I can remember from doing my, remember my, pro, how, blah, blah, remembering my father doing projects. It took him months to do some stuff while working. So this has taken hubby a while while not working. So it's just what happens. And I know this is a Fix It Friday video. But I am fixing things and moving stuff around. So I took some things from the family room and put it up there. That lamp doesn't work, but I love it. It probably should be on a different wall since it's an orange shade, but that's fine. And so I have a nice display there. Um, I'm not buying anything to decorate things with. Anyway, it's all the stuff I already had. So I'm thinking of putting the two, um, my two old antique, um, radios, one there and one there. We'll see what hubby says along with the books. We can use those bottles over. Hubby loves those. Those are antique. I don't know where he got those, but I'm sure the water's gross in there. It's just like colored food coloring water in there. Anyway. All right. So I'm watching Erica from... What is it? Dorset doorstep? Do you guys watch her? Anyway, I like her channel. Um, so I'm judging things here. There's going to be a big piece. If you know what that is, let me know in the comments below. That's going to go there because it's something I bought for my birthday and I never hung it up. <laughs> so it's going to go right there. So that's going to get all judged. So I want to take all that stuff because it kind of doesn't go in here. It's kind of like French country farmhouse if that's even a thing in here. So that's more uh, rustic that goes with the dining room, sort of, kind of. It's bonanza rustic. You know, bonanza. They had, like, really fancy furniture in their house, but it was, like, cowboys. and Anyway, 
that's what I'm going for. I don't know what that's called. Uh, anyway, I'm going to put that in the, um, I'm going to put that in the dining room. I'm thinking maybe I should put that frame in there too. Uh, and that I have never put a picture in. Y'all, I need to do that. It's time. But what one do I want to put in there? Uh, so that can go in here somewhere. And I am thinking of getting rid of this. Is that a candle or is it a, uh, no, it's not battery operated. I'm thinking of getting rid of that. So, and then I dropped this, um, uh, months ago and I didn't realize it broke. I'm so upset. Oh, you see how it's cracked? I mean, it's still, maybe how we can glue it and then strap it. I'll see if he can't fix that. And then I just have a little bit of odds and ends that we have. I have a holder somewhere for that. It's like an antler holder. And then this is an antique of hubbies and some stuff that we got from our travels. Yeah, I think I'm thinking that can go. What to do with the typewriter and the projector? I don't know that I want it back on the entryway table. Maybe it can go on a shelf in the bookcase. Because there's going to be plenty of room. I'll have to ask Hubby about that. With some other antique stuff. Alright, so I cleared up some space. Son's doing something with some kind of cards. I, it's all over the house. Whatever. <laughs> At least he's doing something. Anyway, so I, that pile of books is going up there. And then there's a pile of books that's going up there. So... I don't want to crowd it up, that space up too much, though. Hmm. I'll keep working on it. I'm going to give it a rest for now because that's how I do things. I'm going to let it resonate for a little while. And that's not staying there. I just, I don't know what to do with it. Son made it in sixth grade or something. We like it, but what are we going to have to do with it? He hates that we have it hanging. Get rid of that. And it's kind of like an ongoing joke. We know it irritates him, so we keep hanging it back up. <laughs> and it's funny. I'll find a place for it. And I'm thinking that old man picture that was my uh, father-in-law's, I might put that here because it goes better in this section of the house than in there. You know, it fell at Christmas time. I need to fix it. It completely fell out of the back, the framing. It's back here. I love it, though. His dad was an art collector, but um, apparently most of the stuff he collected was forgeries. So we did end up selling some stuff years and years ago. I don't know. I just like it. I think it's pretty cool. So I just need to fix it. The backing came off of it because it's so old. Um, I just like it. And anyway, so we did end up sending a bunch of uh, paintings and stuff to an art dealer. And I think we made like $1,000 off of like 20 paintings. Something like that. I don't remember. It was so long ago. So we kept some, but they're in the garage. I think it's time to get rid of them. We have a few here and there in the house. There's one in son's room that looks like a normal or the guest room, a.k.a. son's room. That looks like Norman Rockwell, but it's not. But we, I really like it. It's cute. You might have seen it. And here's and another one. I just really like this one, too. It says Country Auction. I don't know. I just really like it. It's kind of cool. The frame is cool and everything. And yeah, these are Hubby's figures. <laughs> so, it's this is getting emptied. I need to figure out what is in the bottom of these. Mm. Not a whole lot. That stuff is from Egypt. Hubby was stationed in Egypt for a year, so this stuff that came with it. So I'm thinking like displays of stuff like that. So like if we have some keepsakes from our trips to put books that would go with that if we happen to have them. But I don't know. And then the, the things, the what do you call souvenirs and stuff? Or maybe just do a whole shelf of souvenir with a picture of us on the trip. I don't know. Anyway, this is all his pirate stuff. All his pirate books. And I'm going to put that with the figures. I've already said that a million times. 
I need to stop repeating myself, but there are new people here may not know. Okay, so I was all out of breath, but putting the backing on it was really hard because there's a groove to put it in, but, you know, it got painted. So he had got it halfway in and had to take it out, and then he had the idea to put oil, cooking oil, <laughs> olive oil, on the edges, and it just slid right in. Smart. That was a good idea, huh? That was a good idea. Okay, stay tuned till next Friday for another edition of Fix It Friday where we're doing the built-ins. Well, they're not exactly built-ins. They're going to be made to look like built-ins, but it's going to look nice. So stay tuned to next episode. I'm not sure if we'll finish it, finish it in the next episode. There might be three episodes. So stay tuned. Make sure you click on my face right there and subscribe so you don't miss another video of my everyday wife life. Until next time, guys, enjoy your day.